Hello, everybody. How you doing? Good, 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 good. Today, we're going to talk about something a little fun. Actually, it's kind of depressing, but I think it'll be good for us. I did that um, Poetic Anarchy Crash Course um, hosted by The Sims um, Library of Poetry. It was fucking amazing. Not what I did, but talking to other poets hearing about what they were struggling with because basically I went in and I wanted to make sure that everybody there no matter where they were on their journey that I was giving them something beneficial to them so I started the thing off by saying like what is the one struggle you have as a poet what is the one struggle you have as a writer um, whether it's craft or uh, publishing or whatever. Like, what what problems do you have? So throw those out. And while you're doing that, I'm going to start my, like, spiel about poetic anarchy and everything. So it was really interesting because I got some great questions. And the thing that was just, like, that blew my mind is that some of these people have been writing for fucking years, like 10, 15 plus years, okay? And they still have the same questions. They still have the same problems. A lot of people, when they start out, they're like, fuck, dude, this is so difficult, trying to fucking break in, trying to do all this shit. Fuck, man, fuck, 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 ugh. And then when you talk to people who've been doing it forever, and realize that they're going through the exact same shit. Like, that shouldn't scare you. It should make you feel better. Go, oh, so you can still do all this stuff. Even though you don't know how to do these things over here. Even though this over here seems daunting as fuck. Like, you could still actually fucking do this. And yes, you can. But, um, so it was just, it was a really cool night. I'm really glad I got to do it. And hopefully... I will have um, at least the audio of that night somewhere. So here's the thing. One question I got, and I'm probably going to fucking say it wrong because I didn't write it down. I don't remember exactly how it went. But it was basically like, how do you get over hating everything you write? And then they put in parentheses... Or is it a thing where because I hate myself that I don't like the reflection I'm seeing? What am I supposed to do with that? And that question was so fucking good and so fucking deep. And because I already, after like dealing with that right there, I, I could like think of like five poets I know that have that same fucking problem. And I'm like, oh my God, this is like a legit thing that people should know about. And this might be something that people don't want to fucking talk about or ask questions about. I want to really thank the person who asked that question. It's fucking awesome. But so here, here's what I said. And I, I don't think I was very clear with my answer. I was kind of all over the place. This is the clearer version of that answer if you are a poet and your writing is real and your writing is raw and you fucking like cut your wrists and bleed on that page that is going to be very much you and if you really don't like yourself if you hate the person you are if you are in a deep fucking depression when you look at that poetry afterwards, you will probably fucking hate it. You will be disgusted by it and think it's garbage because you think you're garbage. You think you don't deserve anything. So you will not be able to appreciate the stuff you write. Some of the best stuff I've ever read from poets I know come with the caveat, I fucking hate this, I'm going to throw it away, what do you think? And I'm like, you're out of your fucking mind. This is the best shit you've written. Get the fuck away from me. I'm going to keep this and put it in a safe. So you and your fucking grubby little paws can't fucking destroy it. 
so what I told this person to do, I'm like, if you don't like the reflection you see in the mirror that is your poetry, don't fucking look at it. Don't fucking read it. Write your poetry and walk the fuck away from it. Type your poem out, write your poem out, close the book, put it in a fucking drawer, or turn the fucking page. Get the fuck away from it. And don't go back to look at it again until you are on one of your upswings where you're feeling good about stuff. Or even just remotely cheerful. You don't even have to be fucking happy. Just don't be in the dark place. Because the whole reason why you're writing in the first place is because you're in that dark place. Like, you're wrestling with your emotions. So when you read that shit right then, that's fresh fucking wounds, dude. That's going to fucking hurt. You're not going to like that. So get it the fuck away from you. Give it to someone you trust to fucking hold on to if you're one of those people that when no one's looking, you will tear up everything you wrote and throw it in the trash. Absolutely. I can't stand that. But yeah, just don't read your shit until you're feeling better. Okay, that is the way to get around this, because our poetry is a reflection of ourselves and how we see ourselves. And if we don't like ourselves, we're not going to like the poem. Okay, so (sighs) just keep that in mind. Blood rag out now at my Etsy shop. Fingering the mundane end of everything available at Amazon. Uh, chat books, Los Angeles, um, preview of Dangerous Mind, available at my Etsy shop. Horrywood, my um, serial on Kindle, Kindle Vela. There's three episodes of that up now. So, I don't know, guys. Keep buying my books, type hard, and don't read your fucking poems until you feel better. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.